Hey, thanks for joining for another video. If you like signs of wintry weather, then this was pretty good for you with our blast of some lake effect snow forming across portions of Michigan, Superior moving across Erie and Ontario as well. This was not super organized. This was not major squalls producing several inches, but in spots, little heavier bursts did occur, whitening the ground. Temperatures just a little bit too marginal during the course of the day, Tuesday, a little better accumulation into Tuesday night and then gradually greatly diminishing as we take it Wednesday morning and there you go, nothing happening. We're talking thousands of miles of very dry, quiet weather developing with a decent amount of sunshine as well. The action will be across portions of the Pacific Northwest where several inches, even spots seeing maybe feet of snow in the higher elevations, just some rain lower and then all over the place. We're really quieting down going over the next couple of days or so. We will see a system start to develop, though, a little bit of a low coming air across portions of the Rockies into the plains. I'm going to tell you how that develops in just a little bit. Now, is that going to produce a major swath of snow? No, but we do have a couple systems coming up within the next week that could produce an area of snow from the plains up into portions of Ontario, Quebec, even Nova Scotia. I mean, we're talking a decent amount of snow up in Canada if it happens. Otherwise, across the United States, pretty much Western US, Northwestern US, that's really about it. Let's see, can we thread the needle a little bit and get some snow? It's gonna be a sneaky snow if it happens because we have to get enough cold air to come on down. If there's not enough Arctic air by just a few degrees, we're not getting this area of snow. But this could be the look that pulls down enough cold air into this vicinity and allows for that snow to form on the northern portion of the system going into portions of next week. Again, if it doesn't happen, it's gonna be a lot more in the form of rain, quieting down again across portions of the western US and the middle of the country before some more little guys will be forming there and producing more intermountain snow. And then we'll see this rain system across the southeast with overall warmer temperatures forming. And when we speak about warmth, it's not going to be super cold for any length of time, that's for sure. These are above average temperature anomalies, so compared to average, decently above average, except for portions of the west here. Once that system moves out, we're going to re-engage the warm air, except for Canada. You're pretty chilly, but here's the warm air coming in for next week and then through the late portions of next week in towards the final days of November into December. Look at that. Where you see the brown, these are well above average, 15, 25 degrees compared to average temperature anomalies. Overall on the whole map, we're at least a few degrees warmer than normal. So not too much cool, not too many chances for snow over the next week and a half, even to two and a half weeks out as it looks right now. For any kind of detailed weather information that can really help snow contractors out, check out NeoWeather. We'll be happy to talk with you. Just request a free quote on our website.